Hey everybody, how you been? Uh, it's been a really long time since we've seen each other face to face, you know, eye to eye. Um, rest assured that we miss you. I miss you. Um, so, hi. In, in case you you don't know who I am, I'm, I'm CJ with Mr. Messi. And on behalf of the band, um, I've got an announcement. You know, it's been almost uh, 15 months since we were last together um, in really any capacity at all. Uh, the first or second week of, uh, of March 2020 was our last gig, and um, it looks like that's really going to be true, actually. Uh, but that was the last time we, we were together as a band or, you know, as friends. Unfortunately, it, it seems as though we're going to take a longer break than we'd hoped. Um, yeah, so I guess really what that really boils down to is that's about it for Mr. Messi. Um, we're, you know, I used to say that we played all the songs you forgot you loved. Uh, I guess now we're about to become the band that you forgot you loved. Um, I'm not going to sit here and replay the Zoom conversations, uh, detailing the whys and hows, uh, how, uh, you know, of the discussion, but rest assured, we're all really just still great friends, except Kim and I who are married, so obviously hate each other. Um, but we, we got a second sort of family going on. Um, there's lots of pros and cons why we shouldn't or shouldn't, should or shouldn't, but um, I mean, we, got, we got right down to it. We just decided it was time. That doesn't mean that we'll root out, rule out a reunion uh, sometime if the chance comes up in the future. It also doesn't mean that you're not going to see some of us or all of us, for that matter, out and about playing or, or whatever. Um, you know, right now, I know that Papa's working on some stuff uh, recording-wise, and I don't, I don't know how when it's going to be finished, but I'm looking forward to hearing. Um, Chris has been you know, not able to hit his drums now in like five decades, so I don't see him really stopping. I, I don't know if he'll be involved in anything that I'm doing or not. I, I'd like him to be, but... Um, Anyway, Stu is, of course, working, um, he's on working on things in Dorset, uh, uh, and actually he's working with Papa, as I said, on some original material. Um, Martin is really just too good to stop playing, really. Uh, and Kim and I, we're working on this uh, acoustic vocal thing with young Connor. You remember Connor? Connor Powell? Uh, he played our set break at a number of places uh, quite a few times. So um, that's Bird in Hand, Gypsy Queen, Park Tavern, etc. Anyway, the three of us are working on some acoustic stuff, and you know, you're going to hear from us. In fact, this next Saturday, uh, we're going to be putting on a garden gig like we did, did last year. Uh, only this year, you know, people can actually come near us, which might be good. I don't know. Uh, or not. Uh, but anyway, we'll be doing that on the 12th of June, and we'll let you know on, on the uh, Mr. Messy Facebook page. Uh, so, you know, at this stage of the game, that's really just about the, the full story. Uh, Mr. Messy is going to say goodnight. We did have a really, uh, we thought we had a good run, um, and some really great times with all of you. Uh, we loved entertaining you, and and we thrived on what you gave us back, um, which we in turn try to give back to you. And well, it was just it was, it was a love story, sort of, you know, musical love story between cover band and and, and patrons. Um, we're gonna miss you anyway, uh, but thanks for your love and support. Uh, you made us feel good so many times. We got some other folks that uh, we kind of need to thank as well. Um, significant others for, you know, that's, that's the biggest one, uh, in the band, Kim and I are the only two that are, are a couple, as far as I know. Um, so, you know, everybody else always had to kind of, um, live a life of a rock star three, four times a month on the weekends while trying to be, you know, a good family member and, and the people at home were great. Love you. Um, it allowed everybody to, you know, for us to live that, that little rock and roll dream on the weekends, and, and we loved it. So, um, so all of us, Mr. Messy, me, and, and uh, Kim, 
Papa Chris and Stu, um, and, and Martin. I mean, Stu was with us for so long. He's really the the Mr. Messy bassist. Martin had come along, and um, you know, he he really helped us out there at the end. But we never really got the chance to know him all that well. But nonetheless, you know, this is this is coming from the the core group of Mr. Messy. Um, we actually, you know, had uh, like. 18 or 19 different people in the band uh, for at least a month or more. Uh, we had another, I, I guess, maybe not 30, 20 maybe people auditioned to be in the band. Um, but of the people that were Mr. Messy um, band members, we got to thank them. And at the top of that is our first real bass player who was uh, uh, Paul, Doc Fox. Um, he was really the driving force uh, behind Mr. Messy originally. He kind of invented the Mr. Messy attitude. I caught on to it and, and um, played it up, obviously, but he more or less started it. Um, you know, and then he, and he, he also helped me. He, he, we partnered on finding our first gigs, and he introduced me to all these locations, these venues, these pubs, and so on, and I just took it from there. But he started it all. In fact, he even left us most of the PA initially. Um, you know, without that, we couldn't have actually played and, and, and been a band. Um, yeah, and he's just, he was a great guy, and he's fun, and he, and he was a good friend. We were, we were sad to see him go. He's Hall of Fame, Mr. Messy. Um, that's a lot of press for Doc. You know, nobody else is going to come close to that, really, but his spirit did stay with us for the whole, you know, whole five years, uh, much longer than he did. His spirit was with us. Then there's Graham Haynes, who is the original brand member. He started the whole thing, really. None, none of us had anything to do with it. Uh, he, he was, he, but he left be, a year before our first gig. Um, you know, he really just started, and, and Kim and I, sh uh, Kim showed up a, as a, a result of an ad, and I drove her there, and I went in, and well, you know, the rest just became more or less history. Uh, but, but Graham did start it. Uh, Martin Meads, um, he was the first Mr. Messy drummer. Um, we were his mistress, actually. We weren't you know, really married to Martin. Martin was cheating on his band to be with us. But, he, you know, and he was fast and he was loud. And, you know, he was pretty good. Um, you know, and he did help and, and create us. So that's off to him. But that led us to Captain Pete Kennewell. All right. The man who laughed us through our infancy as a band. Uh, he'd drive two hours to play three. And he's really just one of the great funny men in our midst. Uh, you should check out some of our original promo videos on, on the YouTube channel that has all our, of our stuff on it. Um, he was just really, he was great. And, you know, and he, he got us through uh, about, about a year, you know, a whole bunch of gigs. Um, and everything was, was great. We loved him. But he moved on, and we got Ash Rollins. Um, Ash came along, and he fit us into his 24-7 life, and he brought a, brought a renewed energy uh, and a vibe to Mr. Messy. Um, oh, really, I mean, all I can say is his tenure with us was rocking. And, and now he's moved on to uh, another band. And right now, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, but they're a pretty popular band in the area, and he's doing great, and it fits him really well. And cool, cool Ash. Um, I got to bring up Mark Evans. Um, he was actually with Mr. Messi twice before we started. And then again at the end of uh, the, the final year, um, he had the shortest stay, uh, as far as live shows is concerned, um, the, the shortest career, gig career ever with Mr. Mouse Messi, but he did help us over a little bit of a hump when Stu left before we found Martin. So I, I mentioned, uh, Martin, Martin Shoesmith, uh, dude, you're the last Mr. Messi, um, uh, basis for sure. And we really never had the chance to get to know you all that well, um, you still became part of the family, and because, but it's too bad that, that fate really killed us off, and we're not going to really have the opportunity to ever really get to know you. But you know, while you were here, uh, it was it was great. You know, you're an incredible talent, man. Um, 
you fit in, you fill the holes, you drive the big rig. I wish we'd had more time to make to make music, Martin. Um, so anyway, all you Mr. Messy Hall of Famers, which is everybody I listed, uh, thank you. Uh, that comes from CJ and Kim and Papa and Chris and Stu. There are some others that uh, we need to thank as a band. Um, our, our venues, our partners, so to speak, the pub, the landladies, the landlords, the managers, the system managers, the bar staff, the waitresses and the waiters and the security, the security sometimes. There's just so many of them that we really need to let them know that we appreciate all the interaction that we had with you. Um, it was it was great. Then thank you. Um, I can't really name and thank everybody that we were you know uh, uh, aware of and, and appreciate, but I do need to mention a few who are really Mr. Messy partners through and through. Um, you know, and and the first one is uh, Lizzie, Liz Corp. Um, she's she's my favorite. Uh, She's just the best. And the Park Tavern, with that tiny little stage, you know, up, up above, is a lot like the O2 or Madison Square Garden to a pub band. Um, you know, everything about playing at the Park Tavern for us was always great. And we really appreciate Liz and everything. Every Everybody there at the, at the Tavern, um, staff and all, enjoyed it. Uh, wish we could, maybe we can do it again with, with Connor and Kim and I. Anyway, um, Karn Wheeler, uh, he's from G-Town's biggest night spot pub, uh, the White Heart, and, and a landlord that you can trust. Uh, he knows how to support the needs of, of people that, that are working with him. Um, you know, he, he really just is, is, a, is a great guy to, to uh, work with, and the pub is full, so it's like a built-in audience always. There's always a full house to play to, and so thanks. Thanks, Karen. Uh, Tracy Adams, who is the proprietor of the Bird in Hand in Ferrum, um, if you've been there when a band is playing, you know what that means, really. Um, and if you play there, you sure as hell know what that means. Uh, it's just a, a wonderful... I'm not going to go into great detail. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place to play your music. Um, I'm hoping that the bird is going to be the Keith Richards of pubs and just keeps on living and living and living and living and living. All right. So then there's Clive, uh, who's here at, at my local, uh, the Gypsy Queen. Um, it's Leesland's local, I guess, but um, it's also has become kind of a great little music pub, really. And, and Clive and his long list of staff have really pushed to make it that um, and especially Joe. Thanks to Joe. She'd been kind of running that part of things over there for the last couple of years. Well, actually now it's, it's delved into three or four years, I guess. Anyway, she worked it and, and she was really on the side of, of everybody. She was on the side of, of Clive and us and, and all the people there listening and, and enjoying themselves and having a great time. Great place to play. I really loved it. Chris Lawrence is uh, next. He's he's kind of a, a double agent, you know. He's he's uh, Thatcher's uh, on uh, London Road in Portsmouth on the North End. Um, he's he's a double agent. He he's a talented musician and singer and, and songwriter, guitarist, etc. Uh, but he's also the man that makes London Road the epicenter of of music every weekend. Um, it's, it's great playing at Thatcher's really the, the people who populate the place embrace us and they always did. And the staff there does as well. Um, it's all too good. You know, and it's, it, it's really interesting that, um, you know, it is a, a, a walk-in pub. Um, there's no parking, uh, but everybody that seems to come in there is in the music. And I mean, and so they helped us get into helping them get into the music, et cetera. It's, it snowballs, it dominoes. It's just wonderful. And Chris, I think, is the, the, probably the biggest reason for that. Thank you, pal. Uh, you know, I could sit here and say every name and a call out to, to every pub that, that we, uh, we played at and other functions and other venues, et cetera. Um, but you know, that's, 
that's going to be really difficult in, in this long video that we got going here. It's already for 15 minutes long. N nobody's listening anymore. I know that. Uh, but anyway, Ben at the old blacksmith studio um, where we played for all those years rehearsals. Um, thank you. you. You were professional and you treated us like professionals. And, you know, and, and plus it was always great. Jeff at the dugout uh, who did our, our uh, second demo um and did a fantastic job and, and the whole concept was great and so on hats off to him and then there's dex and rob at bad bear studios a couple of years ago where we made our final uh demo that was great um we loved working with those guys they made a tremendous product you can find it on the website and on soundcloud etc uh the audio versions of all the songs and you know just fabulous work M made us sound like number one kind of do number two good um, like we kind of do too. Anyway, uh, that's something that's really uh, kind of uh, been important to us. At this stage of the game, I don't know, I guess we're really just about down to it. Uh, we, we had a good run. Mr. Messi had some fun. You guys had some fun with us. You seem to dig it. So it really, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, thanks for your support. Uh, thanks for your love. And it's, it always came back at you, and we hope you know that. Um, we want you to keep having a good time and, uh, you know, keep going to see, you know, music, live music, wherever you can, whenever you can, in whatever fashion. And if that happens to include us in some fashion, any of us, um, great. We'll see you around. Bye.